My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We got something pretty unique here. This is a genuine super sport California car and it has its VIN number matching 396 motor in there, but it's built like a street, like a pro street car. It's high performance, it's body off the frame restored. I will say everything seems to be done right. I have a whole list of specs on our website. I probably won't be able to remember them all in the video, but go to volocars.com. That's where you can read all the information, study all the pictures, and that's where you'll find the price, not only on this one, we do have a few hundred collector cars that are for sale. Visit volocars.com. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy the videos. Click on the bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But right now, let's go for a spin in the 67 Chevelle Super Sport. Yeah, it's, uh, it's done right. Uh, again, everything I'm looking at and what I was reading about the car, there was a ton of money spent on this. It's a a little bit, I don't want to say over the top, but it's, it's a hot rod. This thing's not a race car, but it's a hot rod. You'll hear it when I start. It's got three-inch exhaust, has a roll cage, got 410 gears in the back, uh, high-performance built trans. It's got all sorts of really good stuff going on. Uh, the body was off the frame. The whole underbody is super clean, metal, the floors, the rocker panels. It was all painted real nice red. The whole chassis was redone. Everything was rebuilt, ball joints, bushings, uh, shocks, springs, you name it, that's been done. In the back, it has some really fat tubular stainless steel control arms, upper and lower, and then it has two control arms off the back of the rear end. Uh, I even tried Googling it, I don't know what those are, I've never seen them before, I'm sure it's just to keep everything nice and rigid. Uh, it has its original uh, rear end in the car. And it does have 31 spline Mosier axles and new 410 Posi. It's got a nice aluminum cover on the rear end. The Trans is a turbo 400 automatic, all like race built, all high performance equipment, manual valve, uh, reverse valve body, uh, 3500 stall. Uh, it's got an external cooler. Uh, the drive shaft is a Pro Series drive shaft with all new U-joints has two safety loops. Uh, you look up at the motor, it's still fresh. The car is a fresh build. There's a thousand miles on it. Uh, the, the man says he didn't race it. He actually took it to cruise nights and that. Just wanted a real hot rod. So underneath, uh, again, three-inch exhaust. Uh, you'll hear it. It's loud. Um, the fuel system's new. It has a new fuel tank, and then they put the the sump pit in it, uh, all custom electric pump and fuel lines and fittings and fuel regulators, got all that good stuff. Willwood disc brakes at all four wheels. Uh, the whole system is, is Willwood. Yes, yeah, slotted, slotted in front and back they're not. The body is painted torch red. It's just a beautiful, glossy red. The body is pristine. I was just in the trunk. I don't see any cuts or splices. I think they're the original quarter panels, original trunk floor. All slick red paint. Everything lines up just spot on. The gaps are great. It's all smooth, all really nice. The glass is real nice and clear. All the trim is redone or replaced. All the moldings, handles, bow tie mirrors, windshield looks new. All this trim looks new. It's a four inch uh, cowl hood, fiberglass cowl hood. And all of this is slick as glass. New emblems, new bumpers, all new trim, new grill. Those are uh, weld racing wheels. They're 15 by six in front, I believe, and 15 by eight in the back. Uh, it has the studs, you know, it's heavy duty stuff. Uh, and got some big fat tires in the back. It's got the rear mounted antenna. And the engine. Everything's nice, stainless steel hardware everywhere. 
Uh, the motor is all built and bored. It is 12 to 1 compression. You're going to put racing fuel in here. Um, it's got headers, got a high rise intake. The heads have been ported. The intake's ported to match the heads. It has manly valves in there. Uh, there's more specs on our website. MSD ignition system. Has a stainless steel six point roll cage uh, with the harnesses built in. Uh, the interior is all redone. New cushions in the seats, new carpet. There are what they're called as fish eyes right in this area. Not bubbles, not anything that'll ever get worse, but something must have been in the air when this painted. It has like little, little pit marks in the paint and uh, no one's gonna notice them, but I'm gonna point them out to you. Super clean metal with a really nice spatter gray and white finish. The battery uh, is in a box located back here. It looks like it comes with a battery tender. Uh, new rubber, all painted up nice. It's got a tilt wheel. It's got a cheetah shifter. It's got the upgraded gauges, the big tachometer with the light. Uh, it tells you when to shift and um, it has a command center with all the toggle switches for the fans and lights and all that good stuff. He said it does have a working heater and working wipers. It's got a giant Holly tarp, uh, serpentine belt, billet pulleys, chrome alternator, uh, new wiper motor, dual electric fans on the uh, aluminum radiator. Here's the trans cooler up front. All stainless steel braided hoses on the fuel and on the heater hoses. Uh, all painted up like show quality. It's, everything's done really nice. So we're going to fire up now. Might want to lower your volume so you don't blow your speakers and your TV. I just have to get the right key. Of course, I'm going to grab three of the wrong ones before I get the right one. I'm going to climb in here. monster. The reason I rolled the window up, I think it's all new glass in the car. It looks that way to me. But yeah, this thing's a monster, and the wild thing is it's a number-matching real super sport. I built it how he wanted it, but he did it right, too. I'm just looking at the quality of the fit and finishes inside and out. I see the window crank inside there is new, and everything's painted up real nice. Also has a stereo system, but I don't know how well you'll hear it over the exhaust. The tailpipes are your speakers in this car. So we got a pretty cool car, a California number match real super sport with some big horsepower and everything built around it to handle the horsepower. Go to volocars.com. That's my impression of this car. Plenty of ways on there to contact the salesman. They'll answer any questions or concerns you might have. They will also make the shipping and paperwork. 
uh, and financing real easy for you. Go to volotires.com to get started. If you just enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, click on the bell icon, and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.